My name is Catherine Tattoo Baby Flores and I'm a tattoo artist here in Miami, Florida. I own a tattoo shop called Tillian Tattoos with some of the best tattoo artists. And my father was a big drug kingpin in New York and he was murdered when I was four years old. The first time I found out about my father was when I mentioned his name to one of my friend's fathers and his face just went pale gold. But he said, Do you, who did you say that your father was? And he's like, don't go around repeating to people that he was your father. And that's the moment that I went and I talked to my mother and she told me a lot of information about my father. Growing up and being Colombian, it was very tough for my mom. What many people will see as glitz and glamors, my mom lived the hard truth and reality of it all. And all she knew when my dad passed away was that she wanted to run far away from it and put it behind her. Unfortunately, that past is part of my life. And she doesn't like to talk about it and I wanna know more about my father. So it is a big conflict and a big tension in our relationship. She doesn't like when Colombians are related to the cocaine business because Colombians were much more than that. And she's right, but it is part of our history and it definitely is part of my life. I've been an artist ever since I can remember. I've been drawing and painting on walls. But when I was in my teens, my mom always instilled on in me, pick something that you wanna do and try to be the best at it. She said, if you're gonna be a whore and a prostitute, be the best whore and prostitute in the best damn corner. So I chose tattooing and I knew that I wanted not to just be good, but be one of the best. And I started tattooing and I started getting better. In my early 20s, I was able to be part of a um, big TV show and it went really well. I actually came in third and fourth place with some of the best tattoo artists in the world. After the show, I was pregnant with my son and I decided that it was time to put my big girl pants on because my son's father got incarcerated for a couple of years in prison. So I decided to open up my own tattoo shop. Being a mom is the best thing that could have ever happened to me. I'm absolutely in love with my son and I feel that I'm blessed to have him every day in my life. He has changed me and gave me a big purpose in my life to just always strive for better and work hard. From someone who grew up missing their father and without their father in their life, the most important thing to me is for my son to have a relationship with his father, no matter our personal relationship. You know that a lot of times people say that kids don't remember things. There's just things that are embedded in you as a child and I saw the love my son had for his father as the same love as I had for my father. I think right now I feel a lot of mixed emotions. This is this was the love of my life and I got really hurt but nothing changed that love that I had for him. So seeing him it is it is difficult. Seeing him with my son is difficult and I'm just trying to do the right thing. My name is Michael Corleone Blanco. I'm the youngest son of Griselda Blanco. She was known as the queen of cocaine, La Doña, the godmother, the black widow. My family ran the cocaine business. My mother invented the modern day cocaine trade as we know it. We know your childhood was different. How was your childhood regular? <sighs> I can't say it was. I mean, regular in, in the sense of we did family stuff together. Family vacations was our thing. We just did it a little different. Like if we were going to the movie theater, my mother would buy out the movie theater. Stuff like that. I remember making my mother go to SeaWorld three times in a weekend, because we lived on Key Biscayne. So we used to go to the aquarium. I made her go three times, Saturday and twice on Sunday. And she was with it. You know, and if she wasn't with it, well then she'd make the bodyguards take me to see Ghostbusters 20 times. My favorite dish my mother cooked for us was sancocho. Colombian typical soup, you know. Well, on a rainy day here in Miami, we'd be at one of our hideouts and a couple people in the living room, mom in the kitchen with the maid or my, my brother's grandmother, and her stylist fixing somebody's hair in her own little private salon we had in that house. And, uh, She'd be cooking dinner, loving life, cracking jokes, making fun of everybody. That was my mom. My mom had a dark humor about her. It runs in my family. My, um, my mother was very comical, and then my brother, Ubed, was like a, he liked to call himself one of the first narco socialites. He was popping Chris style and selling 100 bricks every other day. So we enjoy life. So yeah, we make, uh, we make light of everything that's dark. In my family, we all had nicknames. 
Ubed was Piti. Piti was short for Pitillo, which means straw, and you know, in Paisa. Um, my mother was La Gorda, you know, the chubby lady gordita. My brother Dixon was El Negro, and my brother Osvaldo was Chiqui, and Mia was just Maikito. Both from my mother and my father, and I guess from my brothers, I learned how to be a parent by devoting time to my children. I guess having the finances, not having to have a nine to five, so I spent all day with my family. My mother taught me a bit of swag, and she, she taught me life lessons. My mother was a savvy, a savvy businesswoman. So she was not only my counsel and my first true love, but she was my mentor in business. My mother was my best friend. You know, I was a mommy's boy. My mom behind those doors was mommy. Mi gordita, my chubby lady. She was my love. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. But if you like that video, go ahead and subscribe now to see more just like it.